So I put some fresh fuel in there. The ratio for this is uh, 40 to 1. And that's uh, 40 unleaded fuel to uh, 1 ounce of two-stroke, two-cycle engine oil. So right now, I was just testing for spark because I know it's getting fuel. I know it's getting fuel in, in the system. I don't know if it's in the car, but uh, it says it for spark and it does have spark. I'll show y'all how to do it. So what you do is get a, a small spark plug, socket size, five eighths, and take the spark plug out and inspect it first. If it looks bad, then you may not have anything it, should, it may be sludged up but this one is not not bad really at all yeah it's not really bad so next if you have a lot of black and build up and this this piece here is gone it's interim yeah and this piece here is gone like real door, just get another spark plug because it's not gonna work. But uh, this one is not too bad. So next, test for spark. The way you do that, the outside of the plug, the outside of the plug here is grounded to the small engine. So if you take spark plug out and try to test for spark, you're not gonna see nothing. Now, I'm about to test for spark with this screwdriver. So you take the screwdriver and stick it around to any metal on the, on the motor and put the spark plug on it. And now I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see it does have spark. So give me a second. All right. So there y'all can see it do, got, do have spark. Now that means it's not getting fuel if it's not starting. So the card may be clogged. Card may be bad. Jets may be bad. But I'm pretty sure it, after sitting, uh, I didn't use it for two and some change years. So pretty sure it has some stuff inside it. So now I'm gonna show y'all how to diagnose the carb. So the carb is gonna be pretty tedious, but simple at the same time. And for this one, it's very small, very small. This is the carb. So I'm gonna rip that boy off and go through it. I kind of jumped ahead, but I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what to do. So you're gonna have this piece sitting over here like this, closed up. Pull this tab here back, open up, and you're gonna have two of these two screws holding the car filter and everything together. Once you take it out, you'll be like this. You just take the throttle cable off. You wanna put uh, something in your little cylinder so stuff don't fall in. All right, this is the small little carp. Pretty easy to diagnose carbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the fuel in the return off. It's on pretty tight.
thing looks fine, so I'm gonna go for this for this here jet and see what it's looking like. Guessing, guessing this is a jet issue. Let me see if I can zoom in. All right, so look here. When tap on this piece here, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a post, what keeps it running. And fuel comes out. So I'm guessing it's not getting back into the jet thing down on on this back side see there's all the fuel no I put some gas in there, but it ain't working. Nope.
Yes, Messiah. Yes, Messiah.